The 8.1 update to Avid Media Composer brought us tons of new features. One of those is the ability to use AAX plugins right within Avid Media Composer. That's right, the same kind of AAX plugins that we're already using in Avid Pro Tools 11. So in this video, let's just look at a couple of the possible ways we can use the powerful AAX plugins right within Avid Media Composer 8.1. Now here I have a short clip from a tutorial video I did about Sample Tank 3, so let me just hit play here. So let's go ahead and get started. First of course, you'll want to open Sample Tank. Okay, so it's just, you know, video and a voiceover track, but we could use AAX plugins on these audio tracks to do anything from crazy effects to just making the audio track sit better in a mix. So let's take a look at a couple AAX plugins. Now we can add audio effects a few different ways. We could come up here to our effects palette and click audio and in here you can see all of the effects I have available now what I have available may be different from what you have available because I've purchased several AAX plugins so if we wanted to add an audio effect to a track we could simply choose what effect we want and then just drop it right on our track we'll say okay we'll do it in slot one and there we go now our effect is applied we can see that by coming up here to tools and audio mixer right there is the air kill EQ look at that AAX plugin right here an avid media composer so let me go ahead and remove that effect because i'm going to place this on the master bus and this is another way that we could add aax effects just click any of your inserts here it could be right on a track or on your master bus here and i'll come down here let's try something strange to start off with let's go with a chorus okay so now i'll just hit play so let's go ahead and get started first of course you want to open sample tank you can come down to the little hamburger click that and we'll simply click import legacy instrument you hear that how this ax effect is happening in real time so we can adjust things just as you would you know in pro tools when you're playing back and adjusting your mix so that's pretty cool let me choose another plugin so i'll choose this blue cat audio frequency analyzer this is a free plugin by the way which you can pick up right from blue cat audio so let me go back to the beginning and we'll hit play it's going to be the same for other libraries look at that so that we can see the analysis of our frequencies what frequencies are you know really high which ones are low where we have dips where maybe we would like to apply some sort of eq maybe i'd like to add some distortion so we'll take a look at this here with some distortion i'll pull it down a bit let's hit play on this sample libraries so let's go ahead and get started first of course you want to open sample Okay, so that sounds horrible on this, but you get the point of the power of AAX plugins right within Media Composer 8.1. And furthermore, watch this. Sample Tank, you can play back the little hamburger, click that, and I can bypass. We'll simply click, just like we can in Pro Tools, so I can bypass that plugin and say, you know, I'm not sure if I like that, let me bypass it and hit play. Let's go ahead and get started. And then turn it back on and hit play. First, of course, you want to, and you can compare it back and forth real easy. So right here I have a little video about, you know, light painting. And you'll notice that right here I have a voiceover track. And then down here I have a sound bed, which already has volume dips on it, which I created in Pro Tools. So let me just play a little bit of this here. 20, camera case attached, we're on a tripod here. So what do you say we try out some light painting? All right, so pretty cool, but we can notice that our voice track is not shining through. Let me use AAX plugins in order to, to sort of boost the volume and EQ out some frequencies that I think are clashing with my sound bed. So in order to do that, I'm going to add some AAX plugins the way I prefer to do it by coming up here to Tools and Audio Mixer. And Audio Track 1 is my voice track, so I'll just click an Insert. And you know what? Let's start with an EQ. Now we have several options for EQs, but a great option is, of course, the Channel Strip. This is a plugin by Avid, and I believe everybody should have this. Now, in this channel strip, I have options for EQs, filters, uh, dynamics, you know, compressors and whatnot. But what I'm interested in here is just the EQ. I'm going to turn off everything else. So I just have my EQ. Now, on this voice track, I don't need so much low end on it. So I'm going to dial that out. Let me change the shape of that EQ. And let's pull this up to close to 100. It's usually pretty good. And again, this is going to depend on, you know, your sound source. But I know for my voice, I need a little bit of a dip around 329, 300 or so, somewhere around there. Let me pull that down a bit. I'm going to pull that Q up tighter though. And let me add another little dip here and tighten up my Q. So let me just play a little of this. Dark with our Nokia Lumia 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a Okay, so we can immediately hear a difference. I mean, I'm already hearing myself better. So I can actually pull in a little bit more of that low end. I don't need that going down quite so much. Let me try that. Let me 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on. 
All right, so that sounds pretty good. And again, I could bypass this and listen. A tripod here. So what do you say we try out some light painting? Oh yeah, it's definitely better with it on. Definitely better. Here in the channel strip, I could go ahead and do things with dynamics such as my compressor and limiter. But you know what? There's a plugin that I absolutely love for compression. It's the Avid Pro Compressor. You've got to try out this compressor. There's actually a free trial available. Definitely try out this Pro Compressor, whether you're on Pro Tools only or, you know, Avid Media Composer or both. You've got to try out this compressor. And what I want to do with the compressor is just sort of smooth out that vocal track. So I'm going to attack it a little bit slower and release it slightly faster. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup gain on there as well. So let me hear this. Nokia Lumia 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a tripod here. So what do you say we All right, so you can tell just right there by those few things we've done, we can already hear you know, how much better that vocal track is sounding. I may not even need to put a limiter on this, but you know, I absolutely love the Avid Pro limiter, so I'm going to use it anyway. And I think I'm going to put it right on this track because the sound bed has actually already been limited in Pro Tools. Again, just like the Pro Compressor, this is a plugin you've got to try out. This one is so easy to use and it sounds great. So I'm just going to pull my threshold down a bit. Let me see how this sounds. We're in the dark with our Nokia Lumia 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a tripod here. So we All right, so that sounds pretty good. I'm just going to pull the threshold up a bit and adjust my ceiling a bit. And you know, I think we're pretty much good. Now I'm going to add a compressor to this master track. And of course I'm going to use the Pro Compressor. This is just because I want to, you know, sort of meld both of these tracks together so they play better together. Get a bit of harder knee on this. I'm not going to tack it too quickly. Release it a bit slower and a slight bit of makeup gain. 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a tripod here. So what do you say we try out some light painting? All right, so that's good. So when that hit comes in, it's not quite as hard and jarring on the listener. So once again, we'll pull up the amazing Pro Limiter. I'll pull up the threshold and a little bit of character on this. Make sure my ceiling is set down so I'm not going to peek. Let me try that. Let me 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a tripod here. So what do you say we try out some light paint? All right, so that's not too bad. Let me go back to my other limiter on this track. I'm still having a little too much of the vocal. Let me check my compressor settings. Yeah, I've got a little bit too much makeup gain on that. So now if we take a listen to this, it should be pretty good. Okay, Lumia 1020 with the camera case attached. We're on a tripod here. So what do you say we try out some light painting? Awesome. So to me, that sounds really good. Obviously, I didn't go over every possible way we could use AX plugins within Avid Media Composer. That's something you're going to have to do on your own. I think you'll really be pleased with the power of AX plugins right here in Avid Media Composer.